John Kudchuk. This is episode seven, and we're going to be talking about the seventh track from John's new album, Into the Shadows. And that's the tune Star Eyes, a very old standard made famous by a lot of folks, but uh, very significantly by Charlie Parker with his uh, album with strings. And a favorite of mine is the late great Frank Rossellino's version. And I chose the cocktail Starry Eyes, which is a hot weather nightcap designed to cool you down right before you go to bed. And boy, has it been hot here. Yes, it's been really hot here in New York, and it reminded us both of our summer last year at the Vermont Jazz Center Summer Workshop. We're both wearing our t-shirts from that, and this year it's going to be held all online. Yes, yeah, so I'm sure Jen will put some links on this to, for you to check it out. For anyone interested, it's August 10th through the 14th, and uh, there'll be all kinds of uh, online things. Jen and I will be doing master classes each day, and there's so many other things you can be checking out, so feel free to look at that. One of the coolest things about this camp is it's multi-generational. So whether you're in middle school, high school, college, out of college, uh, if, if you're, we had people up into retirement age. It's a very nice mix. It's a really beautiful place, and John and I were looking up at the stars on one of the last nights we were there, and it's so clear you can see the Milky Way with the naked eye. So this drink is very apropos. The equipment you will need. Once again, you'll need a muddler. You will need a fine mesh strainer. You will need a shaker and the top for the shaker. The ingredients. You will need a London dry gin. It has nothing to do with London, it just has to do with the way it's made. Right here, we're using brokers. It's a really good dry uh, London style gin and it works great in mixed drinks. You will need some grapefruit juice. I squoze this myself uh, just right before we started, but it's also the reason why you need that fine mesh strainer because of all the pulp. You will need simple syrup. You will need some great extra grapefruit for the garnish and four rosemary sprigs. To start, we'll take two of the rosemary sprigs and start to muddle them with the simple syrup. This tune actually, uh, the arrangement I did, I tried to make it a little more sparkly to kind of simulate the stars and uh, did it in kind of a non-traditional way that kind of has a little more of a churning beat to it. So. It goes perfectly with the muddling. Churning, a muddling beat. You bet you didn't know that existed. Music to muddle by. <laughs> when you think you've muddled nicely, you can add both the grapefruit juice and the gin. So as much as this is designed to be a nightcap, it's also cool and refreshing if you're out on a hot day. Or a hot evening. All right, to the freezer. Interesting side note, I got this recipe from a blog on a mattress company's website. So, now it's time to shake. You'll notice I also put uh, some ice in our glasses. You want to use rocks glasses. This is the closest thing we have to it. It's, it's pretty, uh, rocks glasses are even on, on the sides, but uh, this'll do. By the way, all these drinks we're making, we are tasting for the first time in front of you. Slight miscalculation, I have to use bowl strainers. Now you're going to want to take your two grapefruit wedges. You're going to want to stab them right through the heart with your rosemary. And then you plop them on the drink. I happen to have rosemary in my front yard growing. That's what I'm using, but most grocery stores sell it fresh. There you go. The starry night. Starry eyes. The starry eyes. Cheers.